Hey guys, Caleb here and this is Canthe HD. Now, whatever happened to Blackberries? Literally, it seemed like everyone and their mother had a Blackberry phone. In actual fact, my mom had one, I had one, my brother, literally all my friends growing up in Zambia actually had a Blackberry. And it generally looked like Blackberry were on course to take over the world, to become the next Apple or Samsung or Huawei at one point in time as well. But then they just died. What actually ever happened to Blackberry? Let's talk about it. Now, let's look at a brief history of BlackBerry. So BlackBerry first started out in 1984 with the name Research in Motion. And if you didn't know, that name actually only changed in 2013. And it's a Canadian company founded by two members. So they first started with um, LED works, uh, lighting works for IBM and a lot of other things. And it was only in 1996 that their first ever product came out, which was a pager. Okay, now in 1998, the BlackBerry or the RIM 850 stroke 950, which is what some other people called it as well, technically due to courier services and everything. That was his first two-way pager that you could actually go out, send messages as well, as well as emails on the go. That you could say was the first phone at the time that was actually doing that. Not a lot of phones that were actually doing that. Okay, now in 2002, it came out with the BlackBerry 5810. Okay, that was a 2G, yes, 2G, not 5G that we've got right now, 2G phone. You could do voice calling and it also had a color screen, okay? Now, that phone, you could say, really propelled BlackBerry into corporate America, okay? Because of its security as well as email accessibility. If you've ever owned a, if you've ever owned a BlackBerry, you will know when you go into the BlackBerry hub, your messages and everything are literally just there in one and you're just loving life, okay? So that's basically one of the reasons why it propelled BlackBerry forward and it became the corporate phone. Now, the next thing that BlackBerry did in 2005 was launch the legendary BBM. Now, I remember my BlackBerry. I remember BBM. And I remember, as well as a lot of my friends, the one reason we could not leave BlackBerry was because of BBM. Everyone was on BBM. Honestly, it became, it became some sort of a status thing that you're, you're not on BBM. Because I remember I didn't have, I remember once I didn't have a BlackBerry, right? And all my friends had Blackberries. So when you have a BlackBerry, you now have BBM. And I remember, I remember not having BBM and there were certain conversations I wasn't on. And when I go, when I go to school the next day and people are actually talking like, oh, what we'll talk about yesterday on BBM, this and that. And I just didn't have that. And it really, it really, really frustrated me, to be honest. But then in the end, I got BlackBerry and then I started understanding what the hell BBM was. And, you know, the problem with BBM is also the great thing about BBM. It's like once you got into it, you really couldn't leave because everyone's on it. It's kind of the same thing with um, iMessage. Like once you're in iMessage and you really fully integrate into iMessage, you've got groups and everything there, you really do not want to leave. And that's what BBM did. It, it, it just, it, it revolutionized um, texting and, and interaction and all of these other things. Now, you could say that the beginning of the end for BlackBerry came in 2007 with the launch of the first iPhone. Now, <laughs> if you actually go into the physical or if you actually go into YouTube and actually look at the launch of it, there's actually a BlackBerry there with buttons and Steve Jobs is just like, look, we don't need buttons. The buttons are just there, you don't need them. And then it went over to the iPhone where it was just sleek, full screen, and it's just, it was honestly, it was a, you don't see a revolutionary moment tattoo sometimes later. You don't realize how that's going to change the face of the earth. And it really did. So in 2007, the iPhone, the first iPhone came out, revolutionized everything. But BlackBerry was so successful that they said that it's, it's not really going to bother them. So they were very stubborn in what they were doing. And they said like, look, we're going to continue doing what we're doing. And that's the end of it, right? But then in 2008, they actually came out with the BlackBerry Storm, which was also basically a full, a full touchscreen experience, apart from the call, the BlackBerry button as usual. The, it was, 
it was a mess in invert in not even in inverted commas it was genuinely a mess so when the blackberry storm came out it had so many bugs like the, the 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 user interface and everything was just not good the touch screen was not good the typing was an absolute nightmare i remember i actually had that phone and it just it was so buggy and because of that that was i would say was the first phone that blackberry and their investors really should have said that yo hold up what the hell just happened i would say that was the first phone that you could have also said was now the beginning of the end for blackberry because you could see that apple was starting to take off and blackberry was slowly going away now in 2013 believe it or not that was when it had peak bb or peak blackberry so in 2013 of course they changed their name from research in motion over to blackberry and it's a canadian company just in case you didn't know now in 2013 it had the most or its peak um mobile devices out there it had 85 million worldwide all right that is a lot of phones you could you can kind of say back then that was a lot of phones but right now like apple samsung they're Market share is insane. You've also got Xiaomi as well. That is doing absolute bits in India. Just, I think in India and Sweden, it's now that it's overtaken Samsung and Apple as the biggest selling phone, which is insane. But anyway, that's a story for another video. So in 2016, BlackBerry actually decided to say that it's gonna stop producing their own phones. So you can kind of say putting a stake into it because they were, they were releasing phone after phone after phone and it was basically just flopping and they weren't making any money. So in 2016, they officially said, we are not going to produce any more devices at all. Comes TCL. So TCL is a Chinese company and they said that we are actually going to take over the contract and actually continue producing phones. And with TCL, they now came out with the BlackBerry Key, BlackBerry Key 2, blackberry key 2 le as well as the blackberry classic as well and i think the blackberry passport as well um those are some really good phones those are some really good phones actually no, i think blackberry passport was the last phone blackberry themselves produced actually my mistake that was one of the last phones that blackberry themselves did and it was it was a phone and if you think about blackberry and what basically they were trying to do i would genuinely think that that's the that was the best way for them to go because when you look at the blackberry right you need the quirky keyboard the keyboard was basically what made blackberry even whenever i see a blackberry and you just see the keyboard it just it's, it just feels you so much of nostalgia and it even gives you butterflies sometimes honestly because that keyboard was just amazing it was just amazing and because of the keyboard you couldn't really go that much higher because you now just end up having a really long phone but then sony are doing that right now with a pretty long phone like the 21 by uh 21 by 9 aspect ratio i think and uh it's a cinematic one and it's it's really nice but then blackberry really couldn't do that so they decided to go wider with the passport and that made sense but then in any case they decided to stop producing their own phones and their ceo john chang actually decided to redefine them as more of a software and uh, services kind of broadcast or kind of company, especially the security, because BlackBerry security is really, really good. So that's basically what they do. Now, with that, TCL decided to take over the contract and they were producing the phones and everything. However, last year, in October, not in October, so in August the 31st of 2020, TCL announced say that they're actually gonna stop producing Blackberries, which would, Think is the end of blackberries altogether you're wrong so onward mobility and the ceo peter franklin actually stepped in to say that look guys we're actually going to take over this contract and with that in 2021 the first half of 2021 believe it or not they actually said that they're going to come out with a new blackberry phone we're still waiting for that the last the last time i was reading a uh, uh, a, a document about that um 
yeah the last time I was actually reading like a file or a paper or anything about that they were basically just recruiting a lot of people which is you could say is the start of, 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 of building a phone or designing a phone or whatever but they did say the first half of 2021 still hasn't happened uh, we haven't heard anything about that but again coronavirus and whatever may have maybe slowed down the process but the thing is that they're saying it's going to be a 5g phone and most likely it's going to be android enabled right because that was one thing that blackberry had or well, i mean that they didn't have really was a app network or an app store right like play store google play store app store whatever they didn't have that right so with that whatsapp facebook and a lot of those other ones they didn't have it but then when it came to the passport though you were able to download an apk and you're able to use facebook and whatsapp and all those other ones but the main reason why i decided to do this video was because this year believe it or not if you're actually using like uh, blackberries and you're using the bb10 that's the bb uh, blackberry operating software the 10 they've got a different iterations this is actually the last year in which you can actually use that without that many issues because it's, it's, you can't really say it's not it's not being it's not going to be updated basically from this year and it's it's really the end of an era that is it's really sad it's really really sad so in conclusion what happened to blackberry a few things <laughs> i'll say a few things happened to blackberry number one iphone happened and iphone happened for almost everyone right so number one is iphone happened number two i would say something known as hubris which is pride you see when you when you're at the top of something it's very hard for you to look at the competitors around you and just say oh they'll eventually catch up they they didn't think that that the same thing happened to nokia and you'd actually even say the same thing started happening to iphone apple i would say apple there was a time when apple as well was on the top of the world some people said they are still on the top of the world but they you could kind of say they started taking the eye off the ball after the iphone 4 i would say or the 4s the last one that steve jobs did and at one point in time you could see that samsung really just came came in into their own and a lot of other phones but again that's the story for another day but then blackberry refused to change they were so stuck in their way that they refused to change basically what they're all about which in in a, in a sense that's a good thing but it can also be a bad thing because if the world is changing okay the world was changing from more business oriented to being more consumer based see even the biggest ceo out there in the world wants to watch youtube the biggest ceo in the world may also just want to read an article okay and blackberry was so focused on corporate america to a degree that they lost they lost sight of the world they lost touch of the world and that ultimately i think killed them because it got to the point where blackberries became a second phone it just became a corporate phone you'd have a you'd have a blackberry as your business phone and you'd have an iphone or whatever other phone as your main phone or your everyday phone and blackberry just didn't change so it, it really it really is sad to see what happened to blackberry because it was such an absolute powerhouse uh it was just it was so fun to use honestly the keyboard is something i hold so dearly to my heart but it just died a really you could say a slow and painful death because it took it took a while for blackberry to die but what's happened to it now it is it is so bad and you can only have hope that uh onward mobility and the ceo peter franklin can somehow revive it to something of this former glory but if we've seen anything with htc sony ericsson nokia any of those big phones that were really big phones at one point in time but have dropped the ball and are trying to come back it's really really hard to come back so i really hope they can come back but the honest truth is i don't really think they will because it's just it's just so it's it's really so hard to come back into this uh, mobile phone market because if you even look at sony sony are killing it with their phones especially when it comes to the camera tech on their phones but if you look at marcus brownlee's um video i think it was um a, a couple of weeks ago I'll, I'll link it down in the description below where he's talking about why no one buys sony they do not have 
a big market percentage, but they're producing some really good phones. And that's just how hard it is to crack this mobile market when you're actually out of it. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave a like, share, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon as well, just so you don't miss any of my future videos. But I hope you enjoyed it. And I really do hope that BlackBerry somehow, some way, get their stuff together and bring back some amazing phones. This is Caleb, this is Kanta HD, and I'll see you guys in the next one.